It's a long-standing tradition that each graduating class chooses a favorite faculty member to make some remarks at these proceedings. The class of 2014 has selected Professor Richard Daniel Klein. Professor Klein? Well, this is such an honor and privilege for me to be having, to having been chosen your class professor. There are so many of you I know really well, and I can't see your faces now, but um, for you, it's an honor and a privilege as well. You're gonna be able to make such a difference in people's lives by using the skill and the training and the education that you've gotten here. Whether it's a poor kid who finds himself in prison and needs you to be his champion, whether it's a woman who's about to be evicted and needs you to be the only thing that stands between her and living homeless on the streets, whether it's a handicapped kid who needs the special education that the school board doesn't want to pay, whether it's the person whose home was destroyed by Hurricane Sandy who can't manage to get through all the bureaucratic red tape in order to get the assistance that that person needs, whether it's the veteran who's suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder who can't get the treatment that's needed from the scandalously inept veterans uh, hospitals, whether it's the elderly person who can't figure out how to navigate the social security system. There are so many, uh, and the practice, however, of law is not selfless. I can't tell you the joy that comes from being a lawyer and having your client look you in the eyes after you've done something so important to have such a significant impact on their lives, and they say thank you. It's just a tremendous, experience that you have uh, ahead of you. You've been given this gift of being a lawyer. It certainly wasn't a free one. You had to work so hard for it. You had to pay so much money um, as well. But it truly is a gift. And what we need are gutsy, courageous lawyers. We need you to be known as you don't mess around with the class of Toro 2014. We don't. We, we need people and people who see the failings of our justice system, and there are many, and people who will struggle to reform it. If you go into the family courts, you see so many people, they're just numbers on a docket. Same with the housing court. If you go to the criminal courts, there aren't enough lawyers to provide the kind of representation that people need who might be losing their freedom. There's not enough money in our justice system. It needs reform, and people have to dedicate themselves to trying to do things to make our justice system one that works much better than it does. And sometimes that means challenging those in power. Judges or governmental officials may abuse that power, and they do at times, and you can't be afraid to do what's right. Being a good lawyer is not a popularity contest. It's not a matter of going into court and just hoping everyone likes you. Yes, of course, you want to be cordial and civil and collegial with the people you come in contact with, but just because things have been a certain way for a long time doesn't mean that that's the way that they should be tomorrow. And things need change, and things need loud voices standing up, even if that means standing up to a judge, even if that means standing up to your adversary. The very clients who need us the most, the poorest, are not always the most beloved. But if we don't use our power to help the powerless, if you don't use your Toro educated voices to give some kind of expression to those who have no voices, no one will. And to help those who are most in need is the highest calling of our profession. And there will be failures. We've all failed. We've all felt inadequate at times. But don't let anyone tell you what you cannot accomplish. You are Toro 2014, 
and you can and will make extraordinary legal careers for yourselves. You may find your best friend, as I did when you work as a, an attorney, to be the Constitution. The Constitution is too often overlooked at the lower court levels. You need to right wrongdoings, to challenge an illegal search, to challenge the forced confession, to challenge the wrongful arrest. And when you look back at your life, you'll see there's no glory from I joined the crowd, I fit in, I did it the easy way, I was a good boy or a good girl. You want to be able to say I had an impact, I struggled alongside my client, I was always the diligent, zealous advocate who was a master of the law and a master of the facts in any case that I was involved with. They, therefore, you will be known as a force to be reckoned with and people will know, again, you don't mess around with Toro 2014. Uh, this is such an honor and a privilege for, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, Speaking for, sorry. Speaking for the faculty, um, we are so privileged to have been your teachers these last years. We've guided you, we've counseled you, we've hopefully at times inspired you, and we have learned so much from you. Teaching is a two-way street. It's been a joy to have worked with you. It's been a joy to have learned from you, um, and just congratulations, best of luck, and uh, don't mess around with Toro 2014. Thank you.